Hello there, in this particular video, we are going to learn about how to use promises in JavaScript. Well, in real life, when someone promises to give you something later, what do you do? You wait, right? So similarly, in JavaScript, a promise also means the same. It says that I will give you a result later and that result will either be a success or a failure. That is simple meaning of promise in JavaScript also. So let's understand that how we code and how the thing works in JavaScript with the help of promise. Let's go. So let's first understand the definition of promise. The promise says that it is an object that represents the future result, right? It gives a future result of an asynchronous task. That means that your promise helps to make your JavaScript asynchronous and it helps to provide the future result of your code or your object right so it is it has three different states first is pending second resolved third is rejected it is more like that when someone promises you what happened that you wait right you wait that when uh, the promise will be completed for that you wait so that's the same case here it has a pending state now if someone completes that particular promise what happened that it get successfully uh, you get a successful result right so your promise is resolved so here second state is resolved and third one is that someone breaks your promise in that case there's a state called rejected so how we use it so for that first understand the syntax of using promise so uh, writing the promise is basically quite typical but it is very easy to use if you get the understanding very well right a very clear so for that let's first create a a variable name promise right let's name it promise now inside of this for writing the promise code we first need to write a new keyword then you need to write a promise promise is capital right so this is your actual promise and this is just a what variable right and inside of it you put a bracket inside this again a bracket and inside this bracket we write two different things first is resolve and second is reject as i told you earlier right it has two different state either it get resolved that your promise is completed or either it is rejected pending the state basically where you wait for the result right so mean the final result is these two and that's why we are writing resolved and reject here now after writing this we will create an arrow function like this right yeah now here what we write in the starting we write some lines of code where we want that when that particular lines of code will execute the further code will start so for that we write like we we do some work here some kind of work is going on and then write the case that if this particular work is completed that is if you get a success right in that case you will put your particular result or the result which has came inside this resolve that is resolve then a bracket inside of this you write the result whatever the result will come i'm just writing a syntax here right so don't you don't think that this is some variable or something no this is just a word which is explaining that what kind of thing you are going to write inside of it right yeah so here again what i will write else and then you will put since in the case of success you are writing this so in the case of else we will write what we will write reject so we write reject here and inside of it we put the error whatever the error has came right and then when you write this line of code this is how you write the main syntax of your promise right now for using it we actually call it the next time with the help of this resolve and reject so i will give the example later Right, so this is uh, the main syntax which you need to remind. Now let's move to a good example and 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 try to understand that how this promise works. So uh, for example, I do one thing. I take a order promising processing example. Right. Now under this particular example, let's create a promise first. That is, let's let order food equals to new promise then i put a bracket inside of this i will i will write resolve comma reject then i put an arrow here 
and inside of it i will write what let uh let the food ready right equals to uh let's make it true that your food is ready now so uh main thing was what to get a future result right so since i'm not uh, using anything uh, big here as uh, in most of the cases uh, when we uh, fetch any api or fetch any data then we use the promise here right so since we are not going to use any api here so i'm going to use a set timeout to just show you that how these future results are used in the set timeout set time out then i put a bracket arrow function inside of it now i will write my code that if the food is ready since the food is already ready but we are using set timeout so that i can get the result of like the execution of these results will occur after after what after 2 seconds or i say 3 seconds let's name it 3 seconds right yeah so if food is ready then do one thing that you go to resolve and in the resolve you write that pizza is ready right and else you write what reject and here you say that sorry uh, kitchen is closed yeah so this is how you create your promise as i told you earlier now how to use it for using it you simply need to first let's write here handling the result for handling the result what we do we simply need to first write the name of this variable inside of which we have implemented the whole promise so the variable is order food so after writing this we will write dot then then we will write dot then 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 keyword we use for what for for getting the resolved result right for getting the resolved result we use then and for getting the reject result we use catch so dot then then a bracket inside of this we write a message and then arrow function and then a curly bracket this message indicates what this message indicates the message which your resolve is sending let me is this particular message right so it will be passed inside this using this dot then keyword then we will write what uh, we can write our line of code that is let's say console.log you print that particular message fine and for if the food is not ready then show me what then it will transfer the reject right the message inside the reject it will be get tra transferred so for that i will use what i will use dot catch then bracket inside of this again i will call a message but since this is a case where i am not getting my result right so i will write here error it's all on you you can write anything else also it's depend on you completely but since to make the code clear i am using error so console dot log and print that particular error right so i hope you understood that for then we use the message like when we want to execute the result which is inside the resolve i use then and otherwise i will use catch to get the result which is inside this reject now let's go to our console and check that what result i am getting where is my console okay it's here so you can see it is showing me pizza is ready now let's refresh it 1 2 now after 2 second it's showing me that yes pizza is ready it's not showing the result instantly it is taking some time and after that it is showing me the result right now if i write here false means your food is not ready then in that case what will happen 1 2 here sorry kitchen is closed right so where this kitchen is closed is coming from this reject and how we are getting it we are getting it using this catch i hope you understood this right so this is how you handle your promises right and you need to uh, remember i am again like i want to write it here like dot then friends if the promise is successful right and this particular promise comes from where 
the successful promise result comes from resolve right yeah and your dot catch runs if it fails right so i hope you understood the concept very clear clearly and uh, this is all for today's video thank you so much for watching we will meet in the next lecture with a fresh new topic till then goodbye